So all honor begins with God. Honor must be a characteristic of the church. For there to be true honor, one must embrace the importance of honoring God. We are commanded throughout scripture how to bless and honor God's name. The culture name. of honor has to be the characteristic of the believers of the kingdom. That everywhere we go, what distinguishes us from the rest of the world is that we give honor. Without really honoring God, one cannot function in authentic honor. Uh, true honor to God is not superficial and it is not acknowledged by a religious spirit uh, where you honor him with lip but your heart is far from people him. People think that rank and dignitaries mean the big wigs, the people who look like they have power. But for the believer, remember, we are, we are God viewing over worldview. Worldview says dignity is applied to people with power. But in God's view, dignity is afforded to everyone who is filled with the breath of God. You can be homeless, but I give you dignity. You could be less than, but I give you dignity because I recognize that I need to give you honor, reverence, and respect. Because if you are down, why should I come and put my foot on you to push you further down? What, what does it look like? What do I gain? What does it give me? If you already going through a hard time, if I try to make your hard times harder. No, 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 no. That's why we go into the prison. That's why we go into the jail. That's why we go into the hospital. That's why we visit the sick. Because if you're already going through a hard time, I need to come and give you reverence and respect so that you know, listen, somebody sees you. Somebody understands what it's like to be you. Listen, anybody ever been in jail before or been in a jail-like situation, but God brought you out of it? You know what it feels like when you are down and out and by yourself. Everybody talking about you. Everybody got something to say. Everybody down in you. And so somebody has to come and say, even in this moment, there is reverence and respect for you as a human being. Because God loves you. God cares about you because I'm God's child. I love you and I care about you too. And, and so if you can't honor and recognize that the person has worth, Jesus showed honor to people no matter their status. I didn't say he condoned their lifestyle. I said he honored them as a person of dignity. As a person who was created just like you and me huh and so we got to be careful we got to be careful you are not honoring their habits you're not honoring their lifestyle you're not honoring their sinful state rather you honor the potential in them and the reality that God created them in his image and they have the same potential uh, uh, to put away their sin and come into a loving relationship with God just like you did don't forget where you used to be don't forget what a heap of hell you used to be don't forget the dungeon you used to be in don't forget the drugs you smoked don't go don't forget the alcohol Alcohol you drank. Come on, don't forget the late night wandering you did. Uh, don't forget the lying you did. Come on, don't forget the hormoning you did. Uh, don't forget the backbiting you did. If we can just recognize that if God did it for me, he can do it for anybody else. God did not disregard me. God did not dishonor me because I was not living in a right place with him. And God honors even every creature that he's created. He may not be satisfied with what they're doing. He may not like their lifestyle, but he honors them because they are of God and God created everybody in his image and in his likeness and see he created everything and it was good they've taken a wrong course they've gotten off track but listen my God if we can just begin to honor them and see them as people with dignity and potential we can win them but we walk by and we won't look at them we won't speak to people because we are such have 
to be able as a Christian to have God's view, which is everybody that I have created is worthy of honor. And so in the kingdom, we don't selectively honor, we honor everybody. When we don't honor or we honor incorrectly, we damage the advancement and promotion that God is bringing us into and ultimately set ourselves back or cut our lives short. You didn't hear me. When you don't honor or you honor incorrectly, we damage the advancement and the promotion that God is bringing us into you.